Welcome to G-Man Gaming and Reviews. Um, so, uh, thank you for everybody who's... Um, so, this is going to be a video... Obviously, the title is a little bit clickbaity. But, it, it's, it's not clickbaity for no reason. So, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, reveal... Yeah, th yes, yes, this is my face, so I'm doing my face reveal. The reason I'm doing it is because I'm planning to do uh, stand-up comedy. Um, so might as well come out now. So, um, the first thing I'm going to do is just apologize for the poor quality of the video. I um, in terms of the video quality, the audio should be pretty decent, but the video is not going to be that good because I'm using a, not the best camera. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be a video about why Diablo 2 is a bad game for Blizzard now. Um, now, before you start thinking that I'm saying that it's a bad game in general, that's not what this video is about. But before we get into that, I wanted to thank all my subscribers and for those who used to join my Twitch streams. Um, it was very, very enjoyable to have people coming in on my Twitch streams, especially because since I'm not a, a big streamer and to have like a consistent following, which was really, really good and I was really, really happy about. Um, unfortunately, I won't be doing Twitch streams anymore. Um, I just don't really have the time to do it and I'm sort of trying to pursue comedy But I still will be doing videos on gaming because it's a passion of mine So I just wanted to say thank you to all the people who used to join my streams. Thank you to all my subscribers and um, Yeah, so um, so a new direction for this channel is gonna be back to doing like reviews and commentary on games um, That's what I really really enjoy like I, I uh, the thing that inspired this video was um diablo the act man video by diablo 4 see I, I i tried to play diablo 4 but because of where i am my internet speed is not the best so i it, it kept disconnecting but I've, I've seen enough videos on diablo 4 like not just act man's videos but also um people's responses to his videos to sort of get an idea of diablo 4 um, but this video isn't really about Diablo 4 per se, it's more about like Diablo 2. Um, right, uh, the other thing was that I, I forgot, um, is I'm actually going to be starting a new channel, which I think I'm going to call G-Man Comedy, um, that's going to be about, so I, I have autism, so it's going to be about like aut comedy from an autistic perspective. Um, so yeah, look out for that one. I'll be putting it most likely in the description of the video. So I'll, I'll be uploading that very shortly. That's what I'll be doing today. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, if you're interested in that, uh, feel free to check it out. I've also got some merch coming down the line. I've got some new designers that I'm going to be working with. So it's going to be really good. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is explain how much I love Diablo 2. Now, I actually didn't play Diablo 2 when it first came out. Um, I played Diablo 2 probably about, I think it was about 10 years after it had come out. Like, I ended up going to, like, um, a video game store, and they had, like, the Diablo 2 set with the, the booklet in it, the guide. So I bought that and started playing it, absolutely loved it. Um... But one of the things that I was thinking about, so, so like I, I've, I watch other streamers like Mr. Llama um, and it, it like Diablo 2 is a game that has been around for about 20 years now or over 20 years. Um, so even if you don't include Diablo Resurrected, Diablo 2 Resurrected, right? The game's been around for ages and yet it's still an awesome game, right? And I think one of the things that makes it so awesome is the fact that it doesn't have the the traits that you see of modern games. Like of modern, like if you look at like Diablo 4 for instance from what I've seen, like they, there's no, like they're not really trying to go after your DLC, they're not trying to get you a DLC and all these coins to try to get you to purchase stuff. You know, it's just, it's a complete game, right? And the, the interesting thing about Diablo 2 Resurrected is that it's the only one, apart from Diablo 1, that you can play um, offline. 
which is kind of important when you're in a place where your internet speed isn't the best. Um, cause you can't play Diablo three offline. You can't play Diablo four offline. So that, 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 that's a, a good advantage of it. Now, um, I have to admit that, um, Diablo two was, well, and is sort of, it's an action RPG game. So it is uh, simple uh, or simpler than you would expect from say, uh, like a proper RPG game. But it, it, the one thing that I really enjoyed about Diablo 2, as opposed to, say, um, Diablo 1, which I started playing recently, was the fact that it was a little bit easier to to start the game in Diablo 1, than it, in Diablo 2, than it is in Diablo 1, especially depending on which class you take, right? So if you start with the warrior in Diablo 1, right you're you're gonna have an easier time at the beginning whereas if you start with a de- with the sorcerer at the beginning you're gonna have a much more difficult time especially when you encounter the butcher like you've got no chance of killing him basically um well, unless you get very very lucky and you come to a place where there's a door and grates where you can shoot him and he can't hit you right um now Diablo 1 is a very iconic game like I, I played it back in the day on PlayStation when I was a teenager and I absolutely loved the the, the horror setting um, the, it, it just made for a very interesting game I tried to play it nowadays um, and I've just found that it didn't have the same level of enjoyment um, but it is an old game but the point is, is that like at the time it was a brilliant game, right? So I absolutely love Diablo 2 and it's very clearly easy to see why it has um, um, such a following at, that it does. Um, now, it in comparison to how it compares to Diablo 3, um, Diablo 3 was like completely different. Diablo 3 was more like an accessible game rather than like Diablo 2 which was more it was an action RPG but depending on how you did your skill tree you could end up be having a lot of trouble but you were able to reset your skill tree at certain points um your skill points so it wasn't as bad as I as I think it, as as it could have been um, like I, I managed to play, I remember playing Diablo three as the, the necromancer and apart from having a big difficulty with the boss of the second, of the second act, because he was so fast and he could get past my minions and attack me until I had to grind to level up to get the decrepify curse to slow him down. Um, but one of the things that I found about Diablo two two was that like while the the class system while the the skill trees were quite interesting um it wasn't like super complicated in the fact that unless you get to the later levels where you could stuff up but at the beginning or even past the first say like normal difficulty you could probably get past it without too much difficulty um so that was one of the things that was really really enjoyable about diablo 2 um so like i haven't actually played as diablo 4 but i've seen a lot of reviews i've seen actman's two videos and also reviews of his video reactions to his videos and i i just wanted to comment on the differences between um diablo 2 and why i think diablo 2 is a bad game for blizzard currently the reason why I think Diablo 2 is a bad game for Blizzard currently is because of how good of a game it is. Um, you know, it, it doesn't, there's no monetary incentives to, to buy skins or anything like that. Like, you can just replay that game almost endlessly. You know, um, like back then, it was all about designing a good game and just getting people to play that game, and then you, you would add an expansion. Um, so it was really, really cool just to be able to buy a complete game. I mean, if you buy a game and you play that game for 20 years, the value is off the chart, right? In terms of replayability, it's insane. 
Um, now, the other thing that I wanted to talk about was the Assassin class, right? Now, I, I swear, the Assassin class in all the Diablo games, I, I can't comment too much on Diablo 4, but of the three that I've played, Diablo 1, 2, and 3, it was so incredibly unique, but they didn't pass that on to Diablo 3. Like, the, the Assassin class could, like, hide and kill people with stealth, which was... Yeah, you sort of... When I, I read it in the manual, and, like, you sort of had to really, like, build it in a certain way, but it was just, like, the idea of being able to play, like, a ninja character in a Diablo game was just awesome. Um, I just feel that I, that hasn't been replicated since, and I would like it to be replicated, um, in some way. Um, so I, I think that's really, really cool. But I think that Diablo 2 is such a good game that I, I personally don't see a reason to play Diablo 4. Like, I played Diablo 3, and the only thing that I would say that Diablo 3 had better than Diablo 4 was, um, like, the animations and things like that. Um, that, that actually was pretty cool. Um, the other thing about Diablo 3 that was pretty awesome was when you would play the Barbarian, and as you would level up, you would unlock new skills that would almost completely change your playthrough. Um, but the same thing sort of happened with Diablo 2. Right, because as you would level up, you would get access to new skills, and so a lot of the times, what I found is you would tr you would reset your skills just so that you could pop one point into the lower level skills just to get access to the higher level ones. So, um, so in that respect, I feel that Diablo 2 is such a good game for Blizzard that really it would be very very hard for them to top it. Um, I think there's, I, I wouldn't even know what to say for them to do to, to, be, to top it. Because um, it's just a fun game. I haven't even played as all the classes and I'm motivated to play more. And even if you have a computer that, does, that can't run um, Diablo 2 Resurrected, you can still get your hands on the original and that'll run on just about anything really nowadays. Um... So it's, it's very, very cool. So I, I just thought that was my thoughts on like Diablo 2. Is it like it's such a great game that I wish that they would go back to doing that style of game. But I would honestly have no idea how they would actually overcome it. How, how they would surpass it. Um, you know. Um, yeah, so that was my thoughts on uh, Diablo 2. Um so thank you for everyone who subscribed so don't forget i will be doing my new autistic comedy channel uh very soon hopefully today um i also I'll got a whole bunch of merch that i'm going to be coming up with like I, when i say merch it's more like designs i'm working with like designers to come up with some good stuff so um you can find that at gmansemporium.com um and yeah, so thank you everyone. Oh, this was my face reveal. Um, so thank you everyone for tuning in and watching. Um, and yeah, I'll be uploading my stand-up bits today. I've got a couple of three-minute bits. So I just want to upload them to see... Like, I've gotten some feedback, but I'd like to get more feedback. Um, so yeah, it'll be good. Okay, thank you to everyone who watched this video. I really appreciate it. Um, this was G-Man Gaming and Reviews signing out.